Simple example of thermal interaction. Consider the system of spins described in table 3.3. Suppose that when the systems A and A prime are initially separated from each other, measurements show that the total magnetic moment of A to B minus 3 means 0 and the total magnetic moment of uh, A prime to be plus 4 mu 0, initially separated. The systems are now placed in thermal contact with each other and are allowed to exchange energy until the final equilibrium situation has been reached. Under these cond conditions, calculate the probability that the total magnetic moment of A assumes any one of its possible values, capital M, the mean value of capital M of the total magnetic moment of A and part C, suppose that the systems are now again separated uh, so that they are no longer free to exchange energy with each other. What are the answers to part A and B in this case? Now uh, we have the combined system which is A plus A prime that we call A star A star, which is the total system A plus A prime, this is isolated. So that's what we see in uh, the system described in table 3.3. So uh, this means that the total energy E star uh, is a constant because the isolated system cannot exchange energy with the environment. So uh, system A uh, here, you can note that, has a magnetic moment equal to mu zero for each spin and system A prime has a magnetic moment mu prime of two mu zero for each uh, particle. So um, we are going to use this in order to calculate the uh, total magnetic moments. Now for system A, uh, we know that in the problem statement, the magnetic moment was initially measured to be minus three mu zero, and it has a corresponding energy uh, because it's minus m dot h plus three mu zero b, where the magnetic field B, magnetic induction B, is pointing up. And for system A prime, we have a total magnetic moment M prime, which is plus 4 mu zero. So the total energy of the prime system is minus 4 mu zero B. And therefore, if you calculate the constant energy, which is E plus E prime, total energy, this must be equal to minus mu zero b plus three mu zero b minus four mu zero b. So this will be kept constant. Uh, so we need to keep track of this. This is our constraint. We need to keep this constant energy. So when they're placed in thermal contact, uh, let's look at the scenarios for which I get E star is equal to minus mu zero B. So uh, I can have one configuration where all three spins are down, uh, all three moments are down, and all two moments are up in the prime system, uh, so that I have minus three mu zero and plus four mu zero, giving me mu zero for total moment, M star, and energy minus mu zero B. This is actually what was happening before we placed them in thermal contact. Now, this constraint can also be obeyed when I have plus plus minus in system A, uh, plus minus plus or minus plus plus, that is to say, to have a total negative moment mu zero, but then I would need to have zero in the prime system to get a total of mu zero, so it should be plus minus, either plus minus or minus plus for the same three scenarios where I get a zero moment from the prime system. So the total moment will be mu zero. So in these seven scenarios, I will get the constraint satisfied. Total energy will be minus mu zero B. So uh, let's uh, take a look at part A 
of the problem. Now, possible n values of system A uh, and their probabilities. Okay, so what are the possible n values of system A? So looking at my table, I see that system A total magnetic moment uh, can be minus 3 mu0 or plus mu0. So there are two possible values. Probability of having uh, m is equal to uh, minus 3 mu0 is, so this corresponds to one configuration out of seven, so it is uh, one over uh, seven. And the probability of, or relative frequency of m is equal to plus mu zero, that corresponds to six configurations, so it is six divided by seven. So these are the answers to part A. Now in part B, uh, the mean value of the total magnetic moment for system A, M bar, this is by definition sum over R, there are two possible values, 1 to 2, probability R, M sub R, the first possibility is to have a value minus 3 mu 0, corresponding probability 1 over 7, and then I have plus mu zero, corresponding probability is 6 over 7. So this gives me for average value 3 mu zero over 7. And in part C, the systems are separated. What happens to these uh, probabilities? Well, uh, the question is, am I removing the constraint that the total energy is minus mu zero b? And the answer is no. So the probabilities uh, should not change. So I see that when the systems A and A prime are separated, we're going to have uh, the same constraint. Since the constraint, okay, they're not allowed to exchange energy with Within, between themselves, but, but the total system A star is still isolated, so A star is, has to be minus mu zero B, so this constraint will not be removed, and therefore we will find that, uh, so the possible m and m prime values will not change. So you will have exactly the same uh, situation. So the probability of having m is equal to min uh, minus 3 mu 0 will still be 1 over 7. And the probability that m is equal to plus mu 0 will still be 6 over 7 and m bar will still be 3 over 7 mu 0. The answers will not change because the constraint has not been removed. Okay, so we're talking about two systems A and A prime. In system A, each uh, spin has a magnetic moment mu 0. In A prime has a magnetic moment 2 mu 0. Before we uh, form a thermal contact between these systems, we know that system A has a moment minus 3 mu zero, that is all moments down, and the uh, A prime system has plus 4 mu zero, all moments up. So system A has 3, system A prime has 2 uh, spins. So if I uh, look at the total magnetic moment that is mu zero so the total energy is minus mu zero b since the total system combined system is isolated that has to be kept constant so i find that i need to look at all the configurations where the total mo magnetic moment is mu zero when i form this thermal contact 
So I allow energy exchange between the systems under the constraint that the total energy must be minus mu zero b. So this corresponds to uh, six additional scenarios where I have one of the moments down in system A and one of the moments down in system A prime. So uh, total number of configurations is seven. So the probability of getting minus three mu zero corresponds to one configuration, which is one over seven probability and plus mu zero is the rest, six over seven probability. The mean value, I need to uh, multiply possible values with their probabilities, minus three mu zero times one over seven, plus six mu zero over seven, I get three mu zero over seven. When the systems are separated, since the combined system is still isolated, I still have to obey the same constraint, and therefore the probabilities and the mean value don't change.